What is happening, y'all? Kupakage here, and welcome to a quick setup guide for Dead Space 2008. This is the original Dead Space game, not to be confused with the remake, which is right here. Now, if you are watching this video, there's a good chance that you are looking for information on how to get this game to run on Steam in the year 2024. So, a uh, quick understanding for you. Many, many years ago, I want to say it was around 2017, 2018, our hardware for cpu started improving significantly and these older games for ea have a bug in which if you have more than 10 cores in your cpu the game will not run now i'm going to show you a quick example uh because i haven't i already have it fixed this is the fix right here i'm going to be posting this inside the description but i'm going to remove it right quick and launch the game and this is what happens a black screen game's launching right and it died that quick so the way you fix it you right click the name of the game in your library hit properties and under selected launch options you're gonna put this exact link the C Windows system 32 CMD slash affinity FFF what this does is it forces the launch to only launch with four cores enabled as nature intended back in 2008 whenever we only had dual cores and four core processors now, when you launch the game with that link, which again is going to be in the description so that you can use it. Drum roll, please. Perfecto. That is the fix. Now, there are a few other fixes to be aware of because whenever you first launch the game, it is going to launch. What's the best way to put it? It's going to launch in a crappy resolution at like, I don't know, 800p or something. So two main points if you really want to get this game working under options visuals under resolution select your resolution i cranked it up to 1920 1080 with 240 hertz because i have a 240 hertz monitor and make sure you turn v-sync off with v-sync on your frames will be limited to 30 fps so turn it off everything else is fine the game's gonna launch looking beautiful there's gonna be a few other things that i'm gonna recommend before you really get going but first let's take a look at this game this game is from 2008 and look how good it looks Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. Sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Each is seven is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium, now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. There you have it. So, we got this bad boy working. Uh, as you can see, 2008 game, by the way. But there are a couple more things I would recommend before we go any further. Now, I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this. We don't need it anymore. Essentially... I showed you how to get the in-game set. Well, one, to get the game launching. Two, to get the game's in-game settings functioning. So, awesome, right? There are a few other things you will need to do in order to really get this game rolling. First, whether you're a NVIDIA uh, user or an AMD user, I'm not sure which, you're, which that you are. 
use whatever control panel you have find the actual program and limit the fps to 120 uh 120 is the highest cap i was able to get where the game just doesn't absolutely break if your fps is too high certain doors won't open your progression will be blocked the game bugs out i found 120 to be a pretty good benchmark for getting this game looking as optimal as possible the only thing that happens that the only weird thing that happens if you have 120 fps is uh some of the necromorphs might shoot off into space whenever you blow their legs off and next up turn v-sync on on your control panel so onboard gpu v-sync good dead space v-sync bad don't have dead space v-sync on use your hardware's v-sync limit the fps to 120 Put in this link that I'm going to put in the description, as I said before, and you'll be able to play this game with no issues. If you guys run into any other issues, let me know so I can continue to test. Hit me up in the comments section. Until then, have fun playing this old classic, and I'll see you all next time whenever I actually start this playthrough in the very next video on Impossible. Until then, I will see you all next time.